Leo, what's up, y'all? Today we're doing a um, who's talking about you reading. We're going to see who's talking about you, what they saying, and what they want to say to you. Okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Who's talking about my Leo collective? Who's talking about my Leo collective? Somebody that don't know what you're doing. Um, they don't know if they're really seeing things clearly or not. This could be somebody that's a little bit bitter behind some things that happened between the two of y'all. But they don't know if they're really mad at you or if they just mad at the situation overall. And they honestly don't even know if they did you wrong or if you did them wrong. So this is somebody that's trying to debate on if, like them being around was the best thing this somebody is trying to figure out like if it's more out there for them so why are they talking about you because you single you walked away from them and now they feel like they still stuck waiting on you to come back to them when you didn't already let them go so this somebody that still feel like y'all meant to be together and now they don't know if y'all can be together because you done left. They telling people y'all could have had like a toxic connection with each other. They telling people they very attracted to you. They love the way you look. Um, but they feel like the relationship overall was a little bit toxic. They also telling people that you left them, you let them go, you single now. They feel like you walked away from them because you got caught doing something. This person feel like maybe you didn't want to change or maybe you didn't want the situation to change between you and them. This could be a Scorpio, this could be an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. They feel like y'all could have worked things out. Y'all could have got over whatever little hump y'all was going through. And they feel like you didn't really give it a chance or you didn't really care to try. Um, and now this person looking at you like y'all got unfinished business. Maybe y'all should start over. Like, do you not see the same things they see? Do you not want to start over like they want to start over? They feel like you blocking the connection from taking off. Because you want to deal with your options. Or you want to go out more, experience life more. And this person feel like you've always wanted to do that the whole time you was dealing with them. So this somebody is trying to figure out why you disconnected from the situation. They telling people that they don't think the situation going to change between the two of y'all. Um, and they feel like you happy where things are at between you and them right now. It's like maybe they don't care. Um, I don't think they really tripping off of it. I feel like they just living their life. Like they've been traveling. They've been going on trips. Somebody feel like you just been out here living your life and you haven't really, you know, said anything to them about the connection. They could still be connected to somebody in your family. They could be talking to somebody in your family about you um they could feel like the way to get you back is to come in and promise you something solid like oh i should go back and promise them maybe like a family a household let's move in together let's let's get money together this person feels like if they come in and offer you something solid maybe things could work out between you and them like maybe offer them sex or this is what this uh this family member of yours could be telling them. Maybe you could offer them this to get them back. This could be a a male figure in your family. Or a friend of yours that's trying to help this person get you back. Or a friend of theirs. This person talking about just the ending between you and them. It's like the breakup really slowed things down for them. 
it really hurt their feelings. They feel like maybe you don't want sex from them. Maybe you've been away from them for so long that it's like, I don't think that I should really be looking at that. Or I don't think they're going to really be interested because we haven't connected with each other in so long. This could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Scorpio, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Double Taurus placements. What do they want to say to you? They don't know. They don't know what they want to say to you. They don't know if they should even reach out to you. They low-key feel like they should cash app you. <laughs> Whoever this is, they feel like they should try to communicate with you through cash app or try to win you over by buying you something fancy because they don't know what to say. Yeah, there's somebody that feel like if I come in and maybe offer you something you want, maybe money, maybe something pretty, something nice, then you will take me back. Yeah, because they still looking at you as like, oh, I need them in my life. Like, yeah, they could possibly be the one. What was I thinking? I shouldn't have never gave up on them. This is somebody that's still seeing you as the person that they'll have a successful relationship with. Like, we need each other type shit. <clears throat> they could be talking to a lot of their friends about you. You really hurt their feelings. And this person feel like in the past, y'all could have had a chance to make things right. Or y'all could have had a chance to have a good relationship. But they feel like y'all went through the same type of patterns in the past too. So whoever this is, they just telling their friends like they low-key hurt over you. And they still holding on to you. This could be another Leo for some of y'all. Yeah, there's somebody that's telling people that they want you back, but they don't feel like you're going to fuck with them. They don't feel like you're coming back. They feel like it's done between you and them. They don't really know where things are headed in the future with you and them. They don't know if you want them back. This could also be a Cancer or Aquarius. Okay. Let's see if we got anybody else coming out for y'all. <clears throat> they may get choked up when they talk to you. It's like they may know or have things rehearsed of what they want to say to you. But it's like when they get in your face and try to talk to you and try to get their words out, they get all choked up. It's like, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to say no more. But I bought you something nice. <laughs> it's like that. Who else is coming out? Who else is talking about Leo? Um, somebody that's not speaking to you? Somebody that's not speaking to you because they could be currently going through a divorce or a separation. And they don't really want to tell nobody about that. They could have had like a power couple dynamic with whoever they were in a relationship with. Um, and it's not even ending due to cheating. This separation is not happening due to somebody cheating or anything like that. Like this person is still in love with they mate they still in love with whoever they in a relationship with but they feel like maybe they got married too fast or they settled down too fast somebody feels like they committed too fast and it's like now i really just kind of want to work on myself it's not even the fact that <clears throat> that anybody is cheating somebody just feels like smothered or trapped in a marriage or a relationship And they kind of like feel stuck to somebody. 
and they don't want to feel stuck anymore. This is somebody that don't want to be in their head no more over a particular relationship. They're done putting the work in. Yes, they still love this person. It's like, I will still talk to you. You can call me anytime. It's two people not ending on bad terms, but somebody realizing that they should just be a friend with somebody instead of in a relationship with them. It's like, maybe we will work better off as friends. I don't really think we should be in a relationship with each other because one person is not ready. One person is not ready and the other person is. This could be somebody you celebrated with, you went out with, you used to party with this person. Um, some of y'all, you could have even worked with this person before. It could be a... This is a man, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn man. They talk to you about their love life a lot. This is somebody that always asks for advice when it comes to their love life. Could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, but they could be in a relationship with that sign. Could also be a Scorpio. Um, this person is not ready for anything new in their life yet. It's like they want to separate from this situation, but they're not ready for something brand new as of right now because they feel like where they're at is working. It's working for them. Um, they still want to keep the situation. So they may tell you that they leaving something behind. But this person wants to go back to the commitment. Why are they talking about you? <clears throat> they feel like you heartbroken over something coming in slow for you. They feel like you're heartbroken over things moving slow in your love life. This person feel like you deserve a good relationship. You deserve to be happy. But they feel like every time you walk away from one thing, you go to another thing thinking that it will work out right and these people end up being bad investments. This person is talking about your relationships and how you need to be inspired to like. This person feel like you need to just explore your options. Fuck around with different people. Sow your royal oats. <laughs> they feel like you just need to get out here and just date. Date around. Um. Because you keep finding out certain shit about different options. And it's like, yeah, you need to just move forward. They feel like you keep you put your time into these bad investments. Or you keep trying to manifest the same people that told you the truth about certain, certain situations when they disconnected. They feel like you keep putting your time into people that tell you that they don't want relationships. Or into people that tell you right off the bat, like, I'm not looking for anything that's too, too, too deep. I don't want to get my emotions involved. No, you're not necessarily going after people that got kids and all the extra baggage. But at the same time, even if people don't have physical baggage, like kids and bills and all of that shit, people can still have commitment phobia. commitment phobia that's what it's called some people are scared to commit and this could be one of those things maybe y'all y'all attract yourselves or you stick to people that are afraid to commit to you and that's what this person is talking about you could be younger than this person this could also be a pisces a libra a taurus a aries They feel like you let a lot of people take from you. A lot of people use you or a lot of people just come in and get what they want and they be gone. And they feel like you, uh, your emotions are still tied to these people when they leave. 
you are still confused by these people's actions when they leave. It's like they come in, get what they need, they leave. And it's like, well, damn, um, did they really care about me? Why were they really here? Like, are they coming back? They feel like you always wait with a lot of open-ended questions. And it's like, close out that cycle. Um, take no as an answer. Like, Whenever these people show you that they're not ready to commit, that they're not ready for the relationship or the marriage that you're ready for, you got to back out. Some of y'all still take the leap of faith anyway. And y'all also connect with a lot of people that's jealous of you. Like some of y'all are attracted to, uh, or you attract, you tend to attract a lot of love interests that are jealous of you and what you have. Or jealous of your looks. Some of y'all need to drop all your options for now. That's what they want to tell you. But what they not telling you is they want you to drop all your options because they want to hold on to you. They don't want to be toxic towards you, but this is a person that is very territorial. And they don't really want you talking to a lot of other people besides them. They could be blocking. Because they feel like a third wheel in your life when you date people. So this could also be the type of friend that just really don't want you to date because they feel like the third wheel. Um, they may see certain things in some of your options, but at the same time, it may be for their own selfish reasons that they want to expose those things. Like they don't want to let you go through the lesson. They want to tell you what's going on because they want to keep you all to themselves. So they don't really want you to experience any love, honestly. Now, this could be a cancer could be a family member or a friend. See, this somebody that know that you can have a happy life, you can have a happy family, but they are okay with you being with people that... They talking about the fact that it's like they're not going to say nothing about you making certain decisions. And it's... I don't know. It's somebody that's kind of like overstepping in your life. What do they want to say to you? Moon card. Um, when something ain't working out, stop keeping yourself tired or trapped in certain situations. Once you see that it's not going to work out in your favor, do not get jealous. Just move forward. Um, they also want to tell you about something that's going on in their relationship. They want to tell you that they're getting ready to abandon a soulmate, a soul contract. They want to tell you that they're getting ready to leave somebody behind. That they once loved, but they don't know if they love anymore. They want to be alone. They kind of want to go through a divorce or a separation. And it's like, um, they want to talk to you about that. They also want to lie to you about somebody. They want to gossip to you about somebody else, too. What they think is going on in somebody else's life or somebody else's business. They getting caught talking about somebody they ain't supposed to be talking about. There's somebody that's talking about somebody that has released them or they don't deal with them or something like that. So they want to gossip too. Yeah, this person could be a little bit toxic for you. I'm not going to lie, Leo. They may be a little bit toxic towards you. They may feel like that's what you want. You want toxicity. You want drama. You want gossip. That's what you wish for is a friend or a family member that will come around you and give you the tea. Somebody looks at you like somebody that just needs like life to be exciting or life to be drama-filled at all times. This is, what, this is how this person is looking at you. 
And y'all don't want that. You want the opposite of that. You want a friend that, that's going to talk to you about getting some money, leveling up in life. Let's go chase these goals. Let's go chase these dreams. Y'all want somebody that thinks like you, but at the same time, you want people around you that don't think like you too. You want people that think outside of the box so y'all could think outside of the box together. You want people that you could grow with around you. You don't want to hear about the latest gossip. You want to live your life and see what's out there in this world for you. Um, this person gossiping to, to you ain't going to do nothing but turn you off and make you feel like you just, uh, they're lacking inspiration. Or it's going to make you feel like, it's going to do the, it's going to have the opposite effect. Where they're trying to make somebody look bad to you, you're going to start to feel like you just ain't inspired to do too much of nothing, are you? Like, make the right decision in your life and just put a stop to this shit. Like, why are you trying to cause endings for other people because you're depressed about some shit? Like, hold off on that. So, y'all may, may start to, like, things may start to become rocky between you and whoever this is. Because you you stronger than this person. This person sit and wait for their ships to come in and you go and get them. It's a difference. Like, you go to your goals. You going to go get your shit right off the bat. You ain't waiting on nobody to come hand it to you. So, this person is, is kind of like, they don't have the same drive as you. They're watching you work and they want to take the same action that you take, but they can't do that. They want to take the same action that other people take, but they can't do that. There's somebody that's feeling like they can't do what other people do, so they would rather hate on the people that's doing what they need to do. It's one of them vibes. Okay. But yeah, that's all I got for y'all, though. That is who's talking about you. Leo, thank you for watching, y'all. Don't forget to hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Bye, y'all.